Hello, and thanks for tuning in to my Excel Big Data Reconciliation Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reconcile between two pretty large lists in Microsoft Excel. We're going to pretend like Sheet 1 is coming from an old system, Sheet 2 is data that is in the new system, and your supervisor has come to you and said, hey, we've got a problem. There are differences between these two systems as far as date, region, and amount. I'm going to show you how to reconcile these two lists in just a few minutes. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first step in the reconciliation is to make sure that you've got a backup copy of what you're working on. If anything goes wrong, you want to pull that copy back up and start again. The keys to this is to stay organized, make sure that your data is a consistent format in both data sets. Sheet 1 has the first data set. As you can see, Sheet 2 has the second data set. Sheet 2 is a little bit shorter than Sheet 1. There's some missing records. We're going to find those also. What I'm going to do first is put these in group mode. I'm going to insert two columns. I'm going to title this column Source. In this column key. Now I'm going to ungroup them. The source for this one, we're just going to say is sheet one. And for the key, I'm going to create a unique combination of these three fields using a concatenation operator. This is how it's done. There we go. Copy it to the end. Now I'm going to pick up that copy, cheat a little bit and paste it over here. Copy that down to the end. Sheet one. Copy that down to the end. Source here is sheet two. I'm going to copy that down to the end. My data is now ready to combine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over here to sheet one. I'm going to take this entire list, including these headers. You can see there it goes down to 100,006. And I'm going to move it over here. There we go. Now I'm going to come down to the end of it. I'm going to do the same thing with my Sheet 2 data. And this is my combined list now. Let's make those columns so you can read them. Freeze panes. My data now is ready to reconcile. Here's the combined data set that we just created. What we're going to do right now is we're going to insert a pivot table. Pivot table will just automatically go to a new sheet. The source will become the column. Our unique key or primary key that we created, if you will, goes down to the row set. And then our amount comes down to the value. From there, I'm going to copy paste value the pivot table and I'm going to insert a few columns actually more than a few from here I want to make sure right now that this comes up to the top because when I do my text to columns it makes it a little bit easier to track now this becomes a delimited file and what is our delimiter it's the dash that we put in. So let's separate this back out. We do want our destination to still be A1. This actually now is a date 
it's just showing it in a text format. It's going to be, I believe it's a day, month, year. This is still just a text, which is fine, and this is general, which is fine. We're going to finish that. Now we've come out to the columns. I can close this off, delete this dollar amount because we actually have it separated back out now. See if I can format this a little bit better for a date. We can make it a short date. There we go. This now is our region. And we don't need a total. What we really need for reconciliation is a difference. And so here it is. We'll just put variance. And we'll say that sheet one is our base. So sheet one minus sheet two is the zero. Copy that down. I'm going to throw a filter up here really quick. And needless to say, we'll filter for our non-zeros. We don't need the grand total. I should have removed that from the pivot table at the beginning. So basically, I'm going to pull in sheet one amount, sheet two amount. So for here, let's just do a formula. Here's our sheet one, 76.2. Here's our sheet two amount is uh, 76.199. The difference between those two is 609.255. Right here is our 609.255. You can see down there. These are the differences. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit to make a reconciliation report. However, what you can see here on this row is that this amount appears in sheet one, but it doesn't appear in sheet two. So those are your differences. Where you see a blank here, for example, this is in one, but not two. This row here is in sheet two, but not sheet one. Um, so basically, those are our differences by date, by region, and amount. Now, you're going to have to format this a little bit before you send it to your boss, because he's going to go, what's this? I don't know. But you can see uh, here we've got a one-day difference in this record. And so there you have it. Um, Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it.